Building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Well, hold up. He said we're faith-based Israelites. And guess what? That's the first time you were right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. That was, that's we right. took that as a compliment. Yeah. Well, even a broken clock is right twice a day. That's right. <laughs> well, he, he was right only one time. Yeah, so can't even, yeah, broken we can't clock. even compare you to a clock. Broken a broken clock. clock. That's a shame. It says, but ye beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. Keep Hold on, when you pray, praying. what do you got to do? You got to pray in the name, oh, somebody get me right quick, uh, uh, Romans, uh, 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 Romans uh, 10, 13. Because when you pray, who do you pray to? Oh, whoever you are, I don't know your name. Oh, to the unknown God. To the unknown God. Yeah. And then that guy from Floyd that came back to you, the two brothers, those those guys that was down with Barack Shaw, oh, aka yeah. Hamburger, he had made a video with the brother from down south, and he quoted that scripture about the unknown God, and so see we don't know his name. Dummy, it was a bunch of Israelite yeah. Stoics, yep. Greeks, right. that were talking shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. With the, the black consciousness movement yeah. at that time. Yeah. And they knew that there was a God, but they didn't know the name of God. Because right. Paul knew the name of, of God. Absolutely. That's why you two clowns went right back to Nate. And what did you say? The reason why you came back, we see the structure and the order. We see the growth. Yeah. Oh, give me uh, Go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to give you a scripture in a minute. Romans chapter 10 no, verse no, no, 13. No, no. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And you don't believe. <laughs> we believe. We're faith-based. <laughs> it takes faith to believe right. in the name of the Lord and His Son. Right. Yep. And, uh, and how shall they believe in Him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? Nate is, is to blame for them not hearing. That's right. It says, how shall they believe in Him in whom they have not heard? Yep. You are to blame, Nate, for them not hearing the name of the Lord yep. and His Son. Yeah, he's a stumbling you, block. Yeah. yeah. Scripture you think know? about you yeah. being a stumbling block. That's right. You're a stumbling block, man. Yeah. You a stumbling block. Uh, the generate your hand is a stumbling block. Mm -hmm. 14th Street Mo is a stumbling block. Bubble Eye is a stumbling block. Yep. And the Mo side going to dig all you up, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. The elder mentioned stumbling block. Did you not read in the scriptures where the Lord said he would lay a stumbling block in Israel? That's, right. that's in Isaiah the 8th chapter, the 14th verse. So really, you, you're doing the work of the Lord. Yeah, yeah he you is. set up he to is. get all those deceivers, man. Right. You know? All right, that's it on there. I got Second Timothy two and nineteen for you. I got a quick, quick precept. Okay. This is uh, Ezekiel. After that one. Okay. This is Ezekiel chapter fourteen, and uh, verse uh, nine. It says, "And if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel." It's uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having the seal, and the Lord knoweth them that are his, and that everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh Shai depart from iniquity. You name that scripture, read it again. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai standeth sure. Having the seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Yahweh Shai depart from iniquity. You know, and you're you're living in iniquity. You're being real naughty, man. That's right. Naughty Nate. I got one scripture. This is the book of Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Yeah. Right? Well, so, what are you doing, Nate, and yeah. your followers? You're running away from it. Running away from it. All right. So you won't be safe. When the hour of martial law comes, which you guys shun at, yeah. you scoff at that. When it tells you that in the book of Jeremiah 30 and 7 that the time of trouble is coming upon Jacob, which is martial law, when that comes, you guys won't be safe because you have run away from the name of the Lord and His Son. Yeah, you turn your back and not your face. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 12 and 1. And in that day thou shalt say, O Lord, I will praise thee, though thou wast angry with me. 
thine anger is turned away and thou comfortest me. Behold, the power is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall you say, Praise the Lord, call upon His name, declare His doings among the people, make mention that His name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for He hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitants of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. And the scriptures say his name is exalted. When you say Christ, that's not exalted. Right. Some, you might say Christ and somebody's thinking of a so-called white man. How is that exalted? No, that big, uh, big uh, Chub Rock looking nigga from Chicago. He was talking to an Israelite woman and he, she even came out the name of the Most High. Mm, right. And you know what this big overstuffed nigga said? He said, well, you can't use that word Hebrew. You know, the scriptures speak about stammering lips in another tongue. If you give them the right name, they're going to How hard is it to say Yahweh and Yahweh Shah? Right. There's a reason why you can't say it. Because you're not of the elect. That's right. Uh, I got a quick one. This is Isaiah 19 and 18. In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan. And swear to the Lord of hosts and shall be called the city of destruction. So it's prophesied. So what's wrong with you, Nate? What's wrong with you, man? It's not like this is even difficult either, man. That's right. It's straightforward and to the point, man. But well, we know why he's doing it, because he sold out. He sold yeah. Out. You know? I got a quick one. Uh, um, okay, no, no, go ahead, brother. Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. <laughs> they are all ignorant. That's that right, that, that, that left uppercut <laughs> looking overhand right. Good. And it's not just Nate. It's uh, Gehenna. Yeah. He comes under that. Um, 14th Street moron. It's a, well, Zabak too. Where is he? Where, you know where? Where that? What happened to Zabak? Where in the world is Zabak? <laughs> <laughs> like that show. Where in the world is Carmen you know, San Diego? Where, where in the world is General Yohanna? <laughs> yeah. Where in the world is General Yohanna? Yeah, where's Waldo? Right, Isaiah 56 and 10. His watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs that cannot bark. Yeah, mm. dumb. The word dumb there meaning they cannot speak. And well, really, they can speak, but they're not speaking the right things, right. which makes them dumb. You know? And a dog is not supposed to be dumb. A dog is supposed to bark its head off. If the enemy is coming, the dog is supposed to bark its head off to let you know the enemy is coming. So we're barking. The enemy is coming. That's your martial law, your, your uh, different police groups, your different police troops that are going to be invading your homes. We're telling you guys, the, time, the day is coming, you, the, the, them police troops will kick down your door, grab your wife, grab your children, and haul you off to the next concentration camp. And, and, put, a, and, and put a chip in you, man. Yeah. Or put a chip and in you. And none of you guys teach that. None of you, man. Methuselah, you don't teach it. Bubble Eyes, he teaches it for some reason, but, but the name of the most high is off. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Yeah, a, a sheepdog. Its job is to is to is to bark loud so the shepherd, the good shepherd, can come defend his, his sheep. Right. And and we trying to we trying to defend the sheep so so that they can be held in Yahushua's name, Yahweh Yahushua's name. And then you wolves keep coming by and trying to get at the, the, the flock. Yeah. You know. And then they have these pieces of legislation on the books like Operation Cable Splicer and Operation uh, what is it? Uh, Operation uh, Garden Plot. And Operation Cable Splicer. Why don't you Google that and find out what that's about, all right? It's about gathering you, you so-called Americans, gathering you, you guys out there that listen to Nate, you guys that listen to these different Israelite groups that don't believe in the martial law, gathering you up and either forcing a chip into you, pursuant to Revelation 13 and uh, 16, or putting you in goddamn concentration camps. Or you being killed for even believing in the Bible. Yep. Pursuant to um, uh, what is that? Project Megiddo, yeah, Project where they have Megiddo. where they have the the the, the slot black Hebrew Israelites. Yep. Yeah, and a lot of you are going to take it because you you're not going to you're, you're going to not know not to take it. Yeah. You're going to know not to take it. Right. You know. Yeah, because your your shepherds that are supposed to be watching over you are not preparing you for this for this war that's coming. Right. They're not mentally preparing you and and giving you the right ammunition. You know, in the right names of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Al for you to be protected in that day. 
Jesus Christ. If you think that we're, we being the Christians, which the word Christian meaning anointed, we being the Israelites, if you think that our Christ, uh, the persecuting the Christians is not coming again like it did in the past, you're sadly mistaken. That's right. 